In this video, I'm going to show you how to create multiple accounts on any app using just your Android phone. And for the purpose of this video, I'm going to use Binance as an example. I want you to pay full attention to every single thing I say and show you in this video, most especially the settings I apply. So without wasting much time, let's head straight into the video. Click on the link in the description and it's going to take you directly to this download page. Just tap on download, select your Google account. And once you're done with the download, install the app. So now we are going to tap on open and you're going to get something like this. Tap on allow and just tap on this next button or swipe your phone then tap on finish. So now you're going to get the page like this. So the next thing you want to do is to select the app you want to clone. And just like I said at the beginning of this video, I'm going to use Binance as an example. So now we look for the Binance. This is Binance. Once you see the app you want to clone, just tap on the app. And immediately tap on it, you're going to get these options, right? So the next thing you want to tap on is clone number. Maybe you want to clone the app two, three, four, five times. Well, for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to do it once. You can change the name of the app. Maybe after you clone, you want the app to be named Emmanuel. Let's say for example. But it's still going to be Binance, right? Tap on OK. And you can just play around with other settings like change the icon color. So you can just understand the app. So you can know, okay, this app is different from the normal one, right? So now once you're done with that, this is the settings I want you to apply. Go to privacy options. We have a lot of settings here. Just go to privacy options. Tap on privacy options. Now on privacy options, the first thing you want to tap on is this you'll see it here change android id so you have to tap on change android id and choose random so once you choose random tap on ok now the next thing is the second option here change imei tap on it and select random as well then tap on ok the next one is change wi-fi mac address you tap on it then you tap on random as well you tap on OK. So you move on to the next one, which is change Bluetooth MAC address. Tap on it, tap on random, and tap on OK. Now you are done with the settings. You have to go to storage options. So now we are going back and we are going to storage options. If you are done with privacy options, you need just four of that. Go to storage options, redirect external storage. So you tap on it, you enable it, you tap on OK. Instead of tapping on it, you can just switch this button like you're switching it on and you look for clear cache. So that is the next one. You enable this as well. You just enable this. Clear cache on exit. OK. So now we are moving on to the next option, which is cloning option. The last option here. So you tap on cloning option. Immediately you tap on cloning option, you look for skip native libraries. It is here on screen. You just enable this. Make sure you follow these settings as well. Increase compatibility. You enable this. You tap on OK. And now you look for ignore crashes. It is the third, fourth option, right? Enable this as well. And tap on OK. So now you are done with all of that. This is all the settings you need to start the app. So one thing I want you to know is if the app keeps crashing, just toggle save mode. Just toggle save mode. But if it doesn't crash, if it doesn't crash, don't activate it. Don't activate it unless it keeps crashing. Unless it keeps crashing. Please take note of that. Don't toggle it unless it keeps crashing. So that is that about that. This is where you can actually get the safe mode. This is it. If it keeps crashing, just enable this. But if it doesn't, don't enable it at first. So now once you are done with all of the settings, tap the back button and tap on this mark icon. Then you will start installing. Tap on allow. This is going to bring out this the first time. Don't show again. OK. And your app is going to install directly to your device. This is going to take some time. So you have to wait patiently. And I want you to understand that this may not actually work for some apps. Yeah, some apps, but very few of them. This may not actually work for very few of them. If this doesn't work, there is another option called the virtual Android. 
i'll make a video on that very soon but this is working for most apps so you have nothing to worry about once you follow the settings install the app then start using it immediately if you do not understand any of the settings i suggest you watch it all over again and make sure you apply the same settings and do not forget that if it keeps crashing toggle save mode but don't activate it unless it keeps crashing it is very very important so now we're going to wait for this to install i'm going to just skip it real quick and once it installs we are going to open our app so that's basically everything you need to know and one more thing i want you to understand that this installation doesn't take a lot of time it doesn't take a very long time for it to install but it depends on your phone so once this is done this is just going to show on screen i'm going to show you that let's wait on this page and it's going to complete now so now as you can see on the screen Binance was cloned. Enable the app cloner install service to automate app installs. Just tap on install app. So now it is going to now install on your device. So let's tap on settings. Let's enable it and it's going to install. So just tap on install and this is going to take just few seconds depending on your device as well. So I think it should be done now. So now it is done but let me show you on screen okay as you can see this is the app on the screen we are done with binance this is the normal binance you should find the normal binance here this is the normal binance app and this is the cloned one now this explains everything you need to know i want to say a big thank you for watching and if you love the video do not forget to like the video drop a comment if you encounter any issue and do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Do not forget that if it keeps crashing, always toggle on safe mode. But if it doesn't crash, just continue using the app. I want to say a big thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.